I'm going to start out on an adventure, developing a whole system to live a comfortable life. Previously on Off The Grid Lifestyle Solutions. Well, today's upgrade day. We're looking at upgrading this whole setup here. Uh, the shower and everything, I want to get in here today and make it um, a bit more livable. <laughs> it's a bit wild out here at the moment. Time for the solar farm to come down. It's uh, be packed up. We're going to put it on a shed, on a shade shed frame. So I've removed the solar panels uh, to build a solar shed. Now I don't know whether that was a wise idea, to be honest, because the solar shed has taken me a little bit longer than what I planned. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to put the solar sheds back on the solar panels back on the shade shed's roof because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the shed built quick enough. I guess one of the main things is I want to try and actually use these panels as some sort of structure rather than you've got a perfectly good sealable panel here, good sealed ends. It should be actually used as a roof structure. Goodbye solar farm. Last one, onto a new stage of off-grid, the off-grid shed. A roof panel, not just the solar panel, so it'll actually give us warmth inside when we need it as well. So that's part of the experiment is making a solar roof that you can use for a greenhouse or you can use to, to warm up the building in, in, in winter time. So we're virtually designing our own solar system to clamp down onto the panels. The wind generator has got a unique feature when the wind gets too strong, the actual generator will swing to the side and stop working. So at the moment it's been going quite well keeping the batteries charged up, thank goodness, because I've pulled the solar panels down, so I'm purely relying on the wind generator. Charge controller regulator for the wind generator. So I have three wires coming down from the wind generator, converting it through this box to 12 volt, which then flows down into the batteries below to charge them. The wind generator fluctuates really high. If there's a big wind, this has to control that so we get an even charge. So here it is, the new solar shed. You can get modules. This is what I like about it. You can keep adding on and growing and growing and growing it. Solar panels are the roof. So they act as, you know, keep the rain, the heat down. Hopefully they'll actually run a lot more efficient because the actual cooling effect of being the air flowing underneath the panels rather than on a roof will make a huge difference, I hope. But the biggest thing for me is the room. There's a whole new structure that we're designing and trying to build here. So I'm really happy with the way this is coming together. To be able to, to hook all of the solar panels up in series or parallel, you can plumb them up to suit the inverter. Very easily, you can change it. You don't have to get up on the roof. You can get in a small ladder in here and change your plugs around to suit what type of system. And that's great for us at the moment because we're still in this phase of experimenting and trying new things. But not only that, I get this extra area underneath here to perform lots of other things that we can do. Water recycling, um, greenhouse, small shop, ice machine, fridges, everything should be able to run off these panels. Two, four, six, eight panels. If I wanted to, just keep adding more frames. More frames, more frames, more frames. And that's more power. So I'm pretty stoked, really. So we've still got a long way to go. We've still got to get it out, out in the field, get it working, but we're getting there. 
things are starting to improve and we're coming up with great new ideas. Next on Off The Grid Lifestyle Solutions. This one's perfect, it's holding water, in fact it's full to the top stool. This isn't looking too good. At this stage it looks like I could lose a fair bit of my water. I'm asleep and the next minute I go, is this container leaking? And then the whole roof, the walls, everything was totally soaked wet. Hi everyone, please like and share the video. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions to make this project more successful, please comment in the section below. I'd really like to hear what you have to say and your feedback on these projects. Let's get in there, thanks.